What is going on guys, RealTouchGML here back with another GameMaker engine type video showcase thingamabobber. Uh, I did this once before with the lighting engine, I will go ahead and link you right there on the screen. That is just basically what this is, is I, I show you guys something I found that's awesome on the internet, uh, mostly the GMC forums that I find this stuff, and basically I showcase it to you. So you know, with that lighting uh, showcase I found it and I thought whoa this is awesome I'm gonna show my viewers in case they have not seen it or not aware so this is another one of those concepts and basically it's using the new game maker studios shaders so if you don't have game maker studio I'm afraid this won't work but uh, what it basically is if I run the game here it is awesome this awesome water effect that I myself will even use in my games probably uh, so here you go. Here is what it is. So basically, like it reflects, and you know there are the the uh, wave, the wavy type of uh, a field we've got going on here, and it's basically like this watery type effect. So this is it, and I thought it was really cool. So I wanted to show you guys. I hope you think it's really cool because I do, and I definitely will be putting it into one of my games. So uh, so yeah. And basically, it's very it, it's very easy to understand if that's not your strong suit. So as you can see, you know we we can really put the water anywhere on the screen, and it reflects perfectly, and it's really cool. So as far as explaining it, uh, he's he's commented down a lot of stuff, so you can go ahead and check that out. Also, the link is in the description for this download. Basically, what we've got here is. Well, here we've got the shader, which I don't quite understand. I'm still learning GLSL and all of that fun stuff. So I don't quite understand that 100%. Now, I understand it to the point where, okay, it makes sense, but I'm not suitable to teach you guys it because I am not 100% with it. I wanna, If I want to teach you guys something, I want to make sure I am 100% because I don't want to give you fake crap or fake knowledge that's not real. So usually fake means not real. Um, so in, in the draw event here, what I've noticed is, well, notice, well, he's commented it down. So here you can see, you know, the wave distance, wave number, the speed, uh, number of waves. So he's really commented it down. Now, one concern with this engine I had right off the bat was that it was like this clear water. I didn't really like that. So he actually did comment it down and this is the R RGBA value. So the red, green, blue, and alpha value. So basically in the blue, I just put it to 0 0.9 and I run the game now. Let it compile there. And now it's like this, it's actually like blue and watery. Well, I, I mean, I guess you wouldn't want that. I guess you would want like more of like a brown if you like you were doing a swamp or you know, if it's this glorious lake, then it's blue. It really depends on your game setting and all that fun stuff. But I thought the blue looked better in my opinion. So, uh, so yeah, that's, that's uh, how you change the color, I guess. And uh, yeah, all this stuff is really commented. I mean, if you wanted to, if you wanted to make it move faster, like the waves, you could put like 0 0.5, and we'll run it. And it's just a lot of playing around. And, and of course, you'll add this to your game if you like it. So now, as you can see, it moves a lot faster, which I actually don't like at all. It's like a waterfall. We'll change that to 0 0.1. So yeah, go ahead and like, go and subscribe. Let's try for 100 likes this time. I hope you guys like it. I hope you'd like the video if you like it. And yeah, go ahead and use it in your game. I thought it was really cool. And uh, and let me know your feedback, right? If you want to see more of these, if you want to see less of these, if you want to see actual tutorials, I'm going to showcase stuff, all of that fun stuff. So go ahead and like, go and subscribe for 100 likes, and I will see you guys next time.